mentees over here. I always forget to talk to Benji. Howdy. Whoa, I saw Matilda shoot into the sky. I really thought it was a shooting star. See ya. Well, hopefully she just stays up there. Never comes back to be a problem. Ever again. That'd be nice. Okay, give me the two Cooper commissions. I can definitely give him coffee beans and sand rice. He's over this way? What is he? Oh, is he at church? I guess he would be at church. Hello, Deputy Captain. Hello, Trudy. Hey there. See ya. Macchiato. I will adopt you. I will keep your name. Do I need to guide you home? No, you're just you're just gonna go home. Okay. Well, you do that. Haru, it's so good to see you. I made loads of money from selling your skin cream, and I put aside a share for you. Here, I'm sure you're going to need it. Oh, oh, wow, there's so much here. That's a uh, really heavy. After you said Arvia would have used it all. What can I say? By the stairs is the most profitable general store in town. Your products are amazing. And my charm makes them fly off the shelf. I'm sure in no time you'll be able to get back on your feet in town. Thank you, Arvia. If I can put some money aside, maybe I can afford to go to a university somewhere. What a fantastic idea! If you study, then you'll be able to make more products. And we'll be able to sell even more products. As my bar used to say, study makes a big brain more big. That's a statement. Hey, you! This is way too expensive. How about knocking off a few gold from me? Wait, what's this? Are you harboring fugitives? Ah, uh, you've misunderstood. No, this isn't a fugitive. Those posters are outdated. Oh, yeah. It's old news. Hmm? Then why haven't you taken it down already? Checkmate, Mr. Salesman. Oh, I guess the civil call was too busy. They have so much to do. This little minor inconvenience. Don't make excuses for me. Arvio, I appreciate the concern, but there is no avoiding it. It's true. I am that bandit. What? What? This is an outrage! An outrage, I tell you! An outrage! Wait until I tell the Civil Corps about this. Oh. We're like 10 meters away from the Civil Corps. I think they know. Don't be afraid. Wait. I'm sorry. Probably more like a hundred. You shouldn't have to lose customers just because I'm here. You're better off without that customer. Haru, don't say that. It's just a misunderstanding. I'm sure the Civil Corps will explain. Besides, the hearing is coming up soon. I'll back you up. We all know you didn't really do anything wrong. Whatever happens, Logan and I will accept the result. For now, I should leave. Poor Haru. Haru, don't go. <sighs> the old me blamed Logan. I really thought Haru had been brainwashed by him. But of course things are always more complex than we think. I was too naive. Will you be at the hearing? Please, make sure you sneak up. We all need to say our piece. Will do. Can I take the wanted posters down? 
Will it let me? Oh. Shot into space, you say? That's right. Straight into space. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I had no idea there were spaceships there at all. Load of bunkers, stairs, factory looking things. Saw a bunch of spaceship parts, man. It was huge. Never seen anything like it. Did you happen to see the name of the ship? Yes, Olympia 6. Yeah, it was like Olympia or something. I figured it was some sort of space food delivery service or something. The Olympia? Uh, yeah, that could have been it too. I mean, the food stuff was just a theory. Matilda was in that robot. It came real close to me. I just thought back to my training and... Olympia... Found the Olympia? <laughs> Well, we found the Olympia 6. I, I need to go. It's finally here. I've waited so long for this moment. Uh, are you okay, Director? That'd be a no. Okay? I'm way more than okay. This is fascinating. Do you know what this means? That I have to take you there? It means that the people of the old world really did travel to the stars. When a day of calamity happened, there were people out there amongst the stars. They probably survived. And yes, you have to take me there. Oh, hey, just in time. Director Chi wants to know more about the, uh, limper thing. Maybe you can enlighten him. I've got, uh, things to do, so I gotta run. See ya. Rude. How dare you abandon me like that, Justice? Oh, yes. I'm still wondering about Matilda's mech. The sheriff said it's got an escape mechanism that's strong enough to send the control pod into space. That's incredible. The energy output must have been massive to be able to move such a heavy object to escape velocity. It must have even outproduced the R-47 Ultra. I'm so glad that... It's a what? I feel like this conversation is very one-sided. It is almost as if you did not come to discuss the wonders of robotics. Um... I found a chip. Hmm. A chip? Let me take a look. You found this in a Mecha Tilda. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Hang on, I'll be right back. Oh, bye. I was right. This is an RX-76 chip. I cross-referenced the serial number with the database of relic technology that I have been compiling. It's an old world military chip. It was used in a very cool sword called the Plasma Saber, which was the weapon of choice of gun gun pilots everywhere. I did a lot of scientific research to. Is it a lightsaber? Sounds like a lightsaber. I want one. If only I could get my hands on one of these plasma sabers, I would be able to recreate it and we'd have a real working model. Alas, it's but a dream. Hold on. Is that a. Why do you have a broken plasma saber with you? No matter. C can I see it? I'd like to try to restore it in the name of science and Gungam pilots everywhere. Why do I have... When did I get a broken plasma saber? Wow. I'll try to have it back to you soon. Uh, live your best life, Chi. I don't even know where I got that from. It's because you're ignorant. But I trusted you. Everyone did. Brutus, you just need to give up on these people. This has nothing to do with trust. It's about result. The hand guiding the flock needs to make the tough decisions. I'm sorry it had to be this way. <sighs> I just want you to know, the light forgives everyone, even you. I did it for the light. I need not be forgiven, for I know I am right. You're not right. Goodbye, Miguel. What is my cape doing? Builder. I do hope you're enjoying your victory. I am, thanks. These benighted gunslingers are dooming the human race once again. I can't foresee another ending to this little parable. Yeah, 
You're just bitter you lost. It's not about me. I regret that neither you nor Duvos are on the same page as me. But I believe that light will triumph over darkness. You people are short-sighted. Your efforts will be in vain when the shrouds of darkness caused by the human need forevermore fall upon the world once more. I was not just trying to save your lives, but the lives of all children for generations to come. How were you saving us? You worked for Duvos? Or I can listen to him. I'll listen. The ultimate freedom. Hedonism was what the people during the age of corruption practiced. In the name of freedom, they built weapons and technology that we can't even imagine. They were so busy asking if they could, they never stopped to think if they should. In the end, in the name of freedom, they fought a war that wrought destruction on our world. They did not care for the consequences of their actions. They did not care that they were damning future generations. The people of the free cities are repeating these scenes. With utter disregard, they flaunt relics of the past and spit in the face of our collective future. I guess I'll continue to listen. I tried to warn the people of this town that their actions were leading them to another calamity. My sermons fell upon deaf ears. I tried to evacuate all the people through my plot, but that plan failed. So I shall pay for my righteousness. I understand in their view that I did harm to Sandrock. I shall face whatever this town wishes, for I will not abandon my uh Matilda and Penn abandoned you I am tired now Builder I would like you to leave okay You want something? Hmm. Are you allowed to want something? Surely, surely Miguel is not going to be allowed to stay in town after all of this. Like, surely not. That would be ridiculous. Is Cat here? Which cat is? Oh, it's Banjo. So Banjo and Coco are the only ones I still need to adopt. Sounds like something is going on in City Hall. Guys, I just, I couldn't possibly. They've opened a major investigation into everyone who graduated in Medi in the last 20 years. There's no one for them to send over and fill the role. It's gotta be you, Birgie Boy. Or should I say, Minister Birgie Boy. Is he gonna be able to do that job? Minister Birgie Boy? Oh, nice of you to join us. Please, talk some sense into these people. Tell them how I could never in a million years ever be good enough to be the minister in Sandrock. Um... You're right, I never liked your safety inspections. Come on, man, believe in yourself. Come on, isn't it obvious? One, I'm bad at everything. Two, I can't do it. Three, see options one and two. Dang, that's a lot of reasons. Dombey, it's two reasons. Hey, wait a sec. Those are just exaggerated, sweeping statements that represent only your own opinion. Shoot, he saw right through me. Why don't you do it, Denby? You're one of the most inspiring people I know. I got a kid on the way. No time for a gig like this. Are you actually pregnant? Well, in a sense, the Oasis is kind of my baby. Reaching at straws, Virgie boy. It's kind of funny, though. I, I know. 
Besides, I'm not so good at all the word talking stuff. If I had to preach, all I'd say is, just be good to each other. That's it. Why do I have to say any more than that? Everyone go plant a tree. Still got 89 minutes to fill. Succinct yet insightful. Uh, can I use that? Sure. Tell you what. Bounce ideas off me anytime. I'll help as much as I can. Ask my opinion on water wasting. Spoiler alert, it's just as radical as yours. We are all rooting for you, Burgess. Everyone wants to see you blossoming in your new role. Rooting? Eh? Blossoming, you say? Hmm. I feel a little better knowing you guys believe in me. But... No! I have no confidence in my ministerial abilities. Miss Mayor, is there really no one around who can tell me what to do? Nobody at all? What about Zeke? He used to be the minister, right? Yeah, I also thought Zeke could have his old job back, but now that I think about it, he's kind of in charge of re-green-ing Sandrock, so that leaves you, Burgess. Yes. Mm, well, one, Zeke retired. Two, he doesn't want to be a minister. And three, what he's doing is far too important to have him fill in here. Especially when we have two perfectly capable ministers standing right in front of him. Facts. Oh no! Each of those is a good enough reason on its own! That's right! The only one with the dedication, attitude, and goodness required by this position is you! It's gotta be you, bud! <laughs> Pull yourself together, man! <laughs> is he Don't hyperventilating? Don't hyperventilate on me! <laughs> Hey guys, a lot of screaming going on. Everything okay? Should I scream too? Yes. Oh, uh, that won't be necessary. We were just trying to help Burgess see that he does have what it takes to become the next official minister of the Church of the Light, Sandrock Chapter. Oh my gosh, do you have to say it like that? Hmm, not feeling up to the task? Maybe you just need a hat. Uh? Go on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes if you ever feel like you're not where you want to be in life, the right hat can make all the difference. I, I feel like that's a metaphor, not a literal hat, Take but okay. Take the deputy cap, for example. Anyone wearing it is deputy. So, if you had a minister hat, you'd be a minister. No one would question you. Huh? Matilda never wore a hat. No, but she had an awesome cape. That's because Matilda had super villain level confidence. I've heard enough. I need a hat. Thank you for your fine suggestion, Mr. Unsure. That's all right. I can't believe you made that pun. Would you mind making a minister hat for me? I'm sure that would fill me with the confidence I need to spit hot fire. Yeah. Pew 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 pew. Uh. This is not exactly the solution I had in mind for this, but it may very well be a solution. Uh, do you mind? Sure. Yippee! Now I'm only one hat away from success! Ain't that always the way? All right, everyone. I think this is as good a place as any to end this meeting. Good luck, Burgess. We're all looking forward to your first sermon as minister. Ooh. I won't need luck once I've got that hat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Bye. All right, we're making a hat, apparently. That's fine. Pablo, have I spoken to you after everything? Howdy. I definitely have. Hmm. Gotcha. Dombi, can you not? All right, I need to turn in all this crap to Cooper. And then we can go pick up the wood things that I made that should be done. Oh, this is gone. Oh, right, I blew it up. I forgot. With the jacuzzi bomb. It's still on fire. Someone should do something about that. I'm apparently close enough to pebbles to see him on the map. That's something. 
Christopher. Hello. Here you go. Thank you. You are welcome. And I also have these. Thank you. You are welcome. Slowly getting Cooper up to where he needs to be, relationship-wise. Pebbles, are you outside or are you inside? You're probably in your house. Um, I want to go pick up that other relic that should be done by now. And then we can go donate them, and then we can take care of a few more of these um, things on the map. I need to set the petrified wood to be made, assuming I have petrified logs, which I actually don't think I do. Yeah, I have none. That's great. Thanks for the satellite model. Um... I don't want to put the pond down quite yet. Let's hold off for a second. I'm also not going to want to expand the yard as soon as we like immediately get to 150k. I'm gonna hold off until we get at least like I think to 200k. just so that we'll have like a little cushion. Oh, is um Avery. Hi. I've heard of you. You're that I hope someday that he will be a romance option in one of the in any of the games. <laughs> <laughs> 